Becky Billock. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Noteful, and we're building a smartphone and web app that teaches note reading and music theory using gamification. Our platform is aimed towards making the learning of music literacy fun. During the COVID lockdown, I was actually taking a programming class with one of my kids who was doing homeschool, and we were taking this programming class together, so we had a bunch of creative projects as part of that class. And that's when I actually had the idea, and I thought to myself, well, this sort of thing must exist already, and I started doing some market research and discovered that what I really wanted to make wasn't out there. Yeah, so when you first open the Noteful app, you're going to see a series of islands, and each island has learning modules on it. So when you click into each learning module, you'll find lessons on the top of a level. There's a little whirlpool that you can click on to get a review, and that will whoosh you up to the next level. We have an acronym called FRESH Theory. So FRESH stands for Form, Rhythm, Ear Training, Staff, and Harmony. And we also have lessons on musical terms. So one of the really fun things about Noteful is that we have a mascot, Ed the Zebra. Ed cheers you on as you are working through the levels of the app. A, an editable avatar so you can customize your avatar in the app. We have a leaderboard so you can compete with other people that are also working in the Noteful app. We just launched our app. It is now available on both Android and iOS as well as on the web at www.noteful.net. I started actually when I was 12 years old teaching the piano. So I've been a sole proprietor for most of my life. Now when I'm working on Noteful, this has been my first rodeo in terms of building a scalable company. So that has felt a lot different, though it has been a really challenging and interesting process for me. If I wasn't a parent, I would probably say that it was the most fun and the hardest thing I've ever done. But being a parent, I would have to put that first in those categories. <laughs> We have a lot of skills represented on our team, but we haven't had any sort of budget to work with. So most of the three years that I've been working on this project, I feel like my, my biggest role is just being a magician and pulling resources out of a hat. That has been the hardest thing, is just trying to figure out how to do it on a shoestring. One of the tips that I got from another entrepreneur pretty early on was to make sure to leave time for myself, that just being part of a, a really um, great incubator program has been huge. And it's been really inspiring for me to be around those mentors and other entrepreneurs. I cannot believe how much support that I had leading up to the launch. It was really phenomenal, just everyone kind of rallying and not only giving me advice, but like actually chipping in and doing a lot of the tasks that were necessary to get the app out there. That kind of blew me away. And just being around the other entrepreneurs is really inspiring and I feel like I've made a lot of lifelong friends already. What we're looking at now in the next year is to just get the word out and build our usership. If I hadn't asked for the Ascender community, it would be to help us by telling your friends and network about the app. And the other ask that I would have is that we're really wanting to make sure that we get some good positive reviews on the app stores. Be noteful every day.